Right guys, here we go, Fiesta XR2. This looks a nice car, just drove into the sale this morning. Nice gentleman, owned it for, I think he said 13 years. I've done a separate video earlier on this morning, just going through all the paperwork. Loads and loads of paperwork with it. There must be, ooh, six, 12, I think there was a good number of service all the way throughout its life. Last one at 93,000 and something miles. It's had all the car better service, cam belt, water pump, you name it, all the rest of it. And uh, she's now on 94, so not, not many miles ago. Um, she had a bit of a half restoration, I think he said, a couple of years ago. So it's all had time to settle down. It's not going to surprise her in a few months' time. So, um, no, it's sort of, it is what it is. Um, but no, nice thing. Runs ever so well. Obviously drove into the sale, so no reason why it shouldn't drive you straight back home. Nice under the engine bay here. All the sound and still intact under the bonnet. Bonnet lips and edges aren't too bad. A little bit just on that side there, but overall, good. She's had a, um, a few, you know, a bit of work here and there, don't get me wrong, but it's certainly tidy and presentable enough. Certainly wouldn't embarrass itself. Roof's really good, all around the sunroof, etc. All the window rubbers are nice, all the original glass with all the registration stamped around it. You just pulled it up in, is it fire up and everything okay? Yeah, yeah. seems to drive all right. Lovely uh, wheels. Good tyres, bodywork overall is in good condition. Could have been a little bit better masking just round on the on the black there, but um, overall not too bad. Oh, that does look. We'll go around the other side in a minute. Following around the back, rear bumpers good, no scratches or marks on the corner of the bumpers. Just want a uh, that sanding back and the rear wiper doing. We'll open the boot in a minute, you need the key of course, don't you? But uh, no, fairly straight and things down the side. All the plastics and things went out from a good clean up. And uh, a bit of back to black on there and heating up and bringing back to life. Door cards are really good, really good door skins. Inner shuts are nice. Little bit of soften on just that driver's bolster there, just over the years of course, worn down. Um, but uh, no, no major marks or anything, just getting a little bit soft. Passenger seat is superb, same with the ones in the rear. Parcel shelf is all still nicely intact. I think he did say it wants some rubbers just to hold it up. There you go. But no, really good headlining. Dashboard ain't too bad. It's, uh, I thought they were marks and of course I'm not. No, dashboard is good. I thought there were a few cracks in, but no, they're just the uh, mould in the dash, aren't they, on these? But um, no, really good. Nice centre console area. It's a radio there. I think he said all oh, the locking wheel nuts in the glove box in there. There you go. She's got 94.562 on the clock. Fires straight up. Can't remember where the gentleman came from, but a good few miles. He's getting the bus back as we speak. Sweet sounding little engine. Good steering wheel. I'll be anywhere on the steering wheel. That looks to be a, uh, a good example, guys. Ooh. Yeah, it sits quite well, actually. It looks nice. It sits down on display at Thornton Dale. So come down, have a look, see what you think. I'm going to flick through the paperwork because there is tons there, are loads of invoices. I can't remember how much he spent on it. He said there was a fortune um, he spent over the years. And um, yeah, come and have a look and see what you think.